Okay. Shit's getting a little bit wild. So last night I had a crazy dream. And, you know, I saw one of my heroes, Vim Hof. Feeling good, man! Working as a janitor. I was doing a Vim Hof round in my dream, which makes sense because I'm so isolated that actually meditation is like candy for me. That's the fun part of my day. So it makes sense that I would also dream that I'm meditating. But anyways, after that, I end up in this car, which is the car from Back to the Future. But instead of showing the year, it was showing stock indices. And I saw that the volatility index was going down. The NASDAQ and the S&P futures were also pointing downwards. Inflation was flat, but I was shown that it was going to rise to 2.05, um, 2.09% 2 as measured by the 10-year um, treasury bill yield. Hi. And ironically, out of all the other crazy shit that happened in my dream, that was the thing that woke me up in the dream. So my dream became lucid at that point because I, I said to myself, that doesn't make sense. Why would the volatility index go down, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ go down, and inflation is flat? That could never happen. This is a dream. Boom, woke up inside of the dream. Whoa. And started having this amazing, complex, beautiful, sometimes slightly creepy, lucid dream. All the while, the inflation was going up and it maxed out at 2.09%. That's another thing is that usually digits that you see in a dream, they're not very clear. They're kind of like whoop, 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 whoop. This is another tell that you're inside of a dream. And this is another way that people use to wake up inside of a dream. For example, you have the watch tell. If you look at your watch in your dream, it's a digital watch and you can't see the numbers, it means you're dreaming. So lucid dreamers can train this as a method to wake up as well. But anyways, in this particular dream, the numbers were crystal clear. I saw the chart of the US Treasury 10-year note. And at 2.09, I was jamming, I was trying to sell because I was like, this is crazy. This is a crazy profit. Let me sell this shit. Anyways, I wake up and I'm like, whew, that was crazy. And I'm about to go do yoga. But then I decide, hey, let me just like check the stock market for fun. And so I checked it. And the exact initial conditions of my dream were in the stock market this morning. It was something that should never happen. The NASDAQ futures, the S&P futures were down. The volatility index was down and the treasury yield or inflation was flat at 1.55 and i'm thinking well that doesn't make any sense it didn't make sense in the dream reality it doesn't make sense in this reality and what really doesn't make sense is how i dreamed the stock market indices that hadn't existed yet that does not make sense damn it and then all over yahoo finance or, or news articles like why inflation is good for stocks and why inflation is going to go I'm like what the fuck all right well whatever maybe I should do some research and, and, and buy treasury bills or or buy some inflation proof stocks I don't know I'll look into that after the experiment so anyways I go on with my day the first thing I do after Hatha yoga is Wim Hof this time something really weird happened so I do Vim Hof the first round, go into breath retention, release breath retention. I come outside of my body. By that I mean I'm not aware, I'm not aware of, of anything, anything except, except maybe baseline, baseline consciousness. consciousness. I'm, I'm not aware of, not time, aware of time, space, space body, body, form, form. And this goes on for about seven breaths. When I come back into my body, I look down on the phone and I see that I'm on breath seven. So what happened between breath one and breath seven? It's a mystery. I keep going. Second breath retention, something happens that never happens before. I lose consciousness and I fall over. I, I Which is why, oh, thank you, Wim Hof, the safety whale. Never do it near water. Rule number one. If you're sitting, preferably sit against a wall 
support yourself. And if you're sitting in the free space, definitely make sure that nothing sharp is behind you or nothing that could, could hit your head or injure you because this can happen. It's never happened to me until today, but it just happened. I fell over, I lost consciousness on my, on my second retention. So after that, I decided it's probably safer to continue the rounds on the ground. I do five rounds in total, three more to go. As I progressed through the Wim Hof, strange sensations entered my body, mind, a trickle of rain hit my skin, which brought up memories of childhood, early childhood, babyhood, being held as a baby, being touched as a baby. And then, at the end of Wim Hof, I checked my stats. Average breath retention is 420 on the dot, baby. Nice.